Greetings YouTube, today I'm going to review the book Courtesans, Money, Sex, and Fame in the 19th Century by Katie Hickman, author of Daughters of Britannia, which I believe has to deal with the women who were married to ambassadors. This, however, deals with courtesans. Now, courtesans are different than mistresses. I read a, read a, reviewed a book about mistresses last year, I think it was. And a mistress is an extramarital relationship over long term. Um, often trying to, especially if they were to royals, they were trying to get themselves titles and, and more importantly get titles for their children and hopefully even get their ch child into the royal seat and, you know, get the crown placed upon their head. Courtesans are shorter term relationships. They're not long term. Though a courtesan could be a mistress for a time, go back to being a courtesan, or end up being a mistress full time. But a courtesan was very much choosing her partners as much as her partners chose her. And this book covers the entire range of the 19th century. The first courtesan that the book discusses began her career in the 18th, the end of the 18th century, and the last courtesan that the book discusses died in 1920. So it covers the entire hundred year span. Um, and the book concentrates on five different courtesans and two of them didn't end well. They were basically ended poor and as addicts. Uh, one of them ended her life in a somewhat ambiguous way. There were those who said that she was, you know, uh, addicted to gambling, was in bad sorts, and those that said she was quite comfortable. But when she died, the sale of her estate showed quite a few possessions left, things that you would have sold if you were desperate for money. So it's, I think it's likely that she was doing okay for herself. And two of the, the courtesans covered in the book did very well for themselves. One um, married her last client uh, and was deeply in love with him. They were, they were fabulously, a fabulous couple and that were loved by many people. Um, she unfortunately outlived him, but she lived to be 92, which was, wasn't bad for the 19th century. Um, and the last one uh, was able to get a stipend from one of her more famous um, clients, which continued up until her death in 1920, um, which was the equivalent of $10,000 in 1920. So about $10,000 in 1920, which is equivalent to about $108,000 a year in 2012, which is pretty darn good for a relationship you had with someone many years in the past, even after the person died, his estate continued to pay pay her this stipend, this year annual stipend, which was kind of cool. Um, numerous courtesans actually were able to get stipends paid to them, and some didn't last as long as others did. Some paid out until the person died, or the person that was giving the stipend died. Um, and the book covers not just these five, but it also references many others. But for me, it was the overall history that the book covered was the best part. The book covered a lot of the history, the context of how the courtesans functioned within British society from the 18th up to the 20th century and, and the role they played in the 19th century. Um, they were the talk of the town. Every gossip rag there was was a buzz about them. They set fashion trends for all the women in Britain, the, well, the wealthy women. Um, and yet, proper women wouldn't even discuss them in public. Their names were verboten. They could never enter the home of a client or the home of any proper British person. Um, they were wanted by men everywhere, but they were despised for their frivolity, but they were envied by women because they had sexual freedom and independence and financial freedom. So it was a very strange cocktail of social norms and taboos and breaking them all that involved the courtesans of Britain. And I'm assuming courtesans everywhere at that, at that time. But this book is, concentrates on this particular group of women. Um, they touch on one particular courtesan who made me smile and because and, her life was just so kind of bizarre. They only talk about her a little briefly, like a couple of pages. Um, she was known as Lapeva. She was Russian-born. She had a um, Portuguese title, where she got Lapeva from. Um, 
and she was very likely a dominatrix. And there's the possibility that her last client, who loved her profoundly, and she died while working for while, while, while in his service, preserved her body in alcohol and kept it in the attic of his castle. You just can't make this stuff up. Um, so I really enjoyed the book. There was one downside, however. These women are all about hobnobbing with the powerful, the wealthy, and nobility. They were about living fast, about frivolous spending. And I found that aspect of the book disturbing and, quite frankly, revolting. But then again, I wouldn't want to listen to read about what kind of money Lindsay Lohan or Paris Hilton wastes on a daily basis. Because there were women in this book that would blow in one day the amount of money that a person of that time period would couldn't earn in a year. And that kind of waste just nauseates me. But other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed the book. I liked it. I may seek out Miss uh, Hickman's other book dealing with the Daughters of Britannia uh, because I, I, I might like that as well. So I recommend this if you're a fan of um, history, if you're a fan of the social taboos wrapped around uh, sexuality and uh, gender politics of the 19th century, I think that you will find this book quite interesting.